Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to part two of our story. So glad you could join me. Just a disclaimer for those of you that are just tuning in, this is part two of my best friend series. So if you haven't seen part one yet, I will link it down below for you. Now, where did we leave off in our story? Hey, I've been thinking about you lately. Life's too short to beat around the bush, so I'm just gonna cut the BS. Our friendship really means a lot to me. You were there for me when I didn't have anybody. You were my escape when things got ugly at home. This past year though, I feel like I don't even know who you are. I know you're starting your own life out there, and that's fine. But are we really just gonna become one of those stories that ends by saying, we just stopped talking? And I'm not blaming this shit all on you, by the way. We both stopped checking in on each other. So tomorrow, I'm traveling an hour and 30 minutes away <laughs> to reunite with my best friend. Ah uh, yes, my reuniting journey with Daisy. Our adventure starts with Andrea and I driving an hour and 30 minutes away to San Bernardino, California. On our trip up there, Daisy and I had been texting back and forth. We were both really excited to see each other, but for some reason we were both really nervous and I don't know why. It felt like I was meeting a blind date for the first time or my long lost twin sister. But finally, after about more than an hour of driving on the freeway, we got to those shady ass apartment complexes. But I put that to the back of my head because my excitement and nervousness was all I could think about. After almost a year of not talking or seeing each other, we finally got the reuniting that we deserved. <laughs> <laughs> From there, we hopped back in my car and drove to the nearest sushi restaurant because at that point, all of us were starving. And for the next few hours, we just caught up. We filled each other in on all the things we had missed, what's new and what's different in our lives. And even though there was a period of time when our friendship fell off and a lot of things changed, our friendship didn't. I was nervous that it might actually be awkward at first. And to be honest, it kind of was because here I am reuniting with an old friend and there's a lot to catch up on. But I also have a camera in my hands, which kind of increases the pressure on us a little bit. So we did a lot of talking off camera and it felt kind of just like the old times. After we wrapped up lunch, we went back to her place and I asked her to give me an apartment tour of the house that I could have lived in. The front door. See the peephole? This is the front door. This is the power generator thingy. Whatever. There are stairs. This is our living room. Our kitchen area. Let's eat the pizza. It's been a long night. <laughs> this is our... God damn. I know, I haven't seen this in a long time, but I don't know. I don't know what happened. <laughs> this is the laundry room. Oh, yeah. And this is the room in which I sleep. Very dirty. Closet. Restroom. Well. On the version now, so I think you're really in here. Seeing the apartment for the first time was a little bit weird to me because it was strange how much I felt like I didn't belong there. I'm the type of person that believes everything happens for a reason. And I can't help but feel that it was a blessing in disguise that my application got denied because I don't think I would have been happy there. Of course, it was our teenage dream to move in together but after hearing her talk about her experience there, it was hard for me to add myself into the equation and find an outcome 
where I was happy. She didn't have a bad experience living there or anything, but off camera, she said that there was an argument she got into with one of her roommates. She talked about how it was hard to find time to balance going to school and cooking meals. She also has a job that gives her insane graveyard shift hours and a boyfriend who she spends most of her time with. So putting all that into perspective, even if we did live together, I don't think we would have been around each other a lot. And it made me realize that transitioning from an easygoing high school friendship to an adult one can definitely be done, but it just comes with a lot of compromises. So I wanted to reminisce on the past a little bit with her and show her some of the very cringy photos and videos we've made over the past six years. Oh my god, I don't want to. What do you even want to see? The less cringy first and then... Okay, 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 no, just show cringy. Show cringy? Yeah. Okay, then, then I gotta I, go. I know we look good later on. Like, yeah, there's a... Okay, this file is all the bad. All the oh bad. God, look at the quality. I would like to start off with this. Ew! Why are we just like boys? <laughs> that was our thing. Oh my god, look at my teeth. Yeah, no, yes. I would like to zoom in on that on the Don't next photo. <laughs> I had a bad tan back in my Do you days. still have a tan like oh, that? Look at now I wear sandals like a lady. Oh! <laughs> oh my god it looks like a fucking horse. oh my god i remember because i was starting to wear flats like if that was yeah yeah, yeah 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 oh it gets my god bitch it gets worse. <laughs> yes it gets worse this was actually a good one <laughs> this was actually a good video we are gonna get scoops of cool whip and throw it in each other's faces and we have to try and make it into each other's mouths. Look how long my hair and was. Once that ah, happens, then I that never was. realized. So spit it into this cup, and basically whoever fills this cup up to the top first wins. So, yeah. <laughs> I got one in your mouth. <laughs> it's in my eye. Oh yeah! <laughs> Ew! <laughs> you had the same reaction. <laughs> Ew! Peanut in my mouth. Well, that's something you never change. Oh, fuck, that was a good one. That's fucking disgusting. Oh, no! because it's Yeah. <laughs> fucking nasty. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Some of our best work. That's nasty. What was wrong with my bangs? I don't I was know. Like they, a rock they've, been, star. they've been like that. Yeah. <laughs> they've been like that for a while. <laughs> Bitch, don't even get me started. Us just having a casual girls day. <laughs> I love that picture. <laughs> I fucking I love that. What? <laughs> yeah. She's drinking her mud and everything. Dude, ew, literally <laughs> mud from the ground, bitch. <laughs> Wait. Just got fucked up, still looking cute. <laughs> 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 Bitch. Ew, <laughs> your face! <laughs> Don't come for me with those teeth! <laughs> Shit! We don't speak of that. <laughs> Dude, I think my makeup's gonna come off. <laughs> 
my lips. Yes, okay, let's go to the when they get better. <laughs> oh, look, see my bangs are on top. Mm hmm. They get better. When you were leaving. Oh, that's when we got the hotel. Mm hmm. Oh, I remember that. Mm -hmm. It was like on the weekend, huh? Mm hmm. I think it's the same way. Okay. What is that? That's just me. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't opened that one. Ew! <laughs> what is behind you? What is that? <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's yeah. enough. Yeah, that's enough. Oh. I see you now. <laughs> that was a great way to end this. I ended up leaving that night around 10 p.m. and it was really nice to catch up. Obviously between our schedules and the distance of a drive, we won't be hanging out as often as we once did, but I'm okay with that. You see, the point of this video was to rekindle an old friendship that meant everything to me. And I think we did that. As long as we continue to check in on each other, I know that that friendship will never fade. During that period of time when we stopped talking, I was honestly scared because I've only ever let myself be completely transparent with two people, and that's my boyfriend and Daisy. It's hard opening up to someone about the shit that scares you and hoping that that conversation will stay between the two of you. I was also just scared of losing someone who took up a big portion of my heart. We had so many conversations about the future, like how our kids would one day grow up to be best friends. Our babies are gonna be best friends? and how we would be the maid of honor at each other's weddings. I guess it just hurt me because I don't have a big family. My immediate family lives almost an hour away from me and I have no connection or contact with any of my other family members. So all I really have at my fingertips is Endry and his family. And I didn't want to lose Daisy because that's family too. I don't care how long we have to wait until we see each other next. That's my family. Whether you like it or not, bitch. Okay, so text me back because I'm getting insecure. <laughs> That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. This series really meant a lot to me and I worked really hard on it and it's something that I'm super proud of. So if you liked it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for new videos every single Wednesday. If you have an old friend that you've been missing and haven't talked to in a while, send them a text right now. If you're waiting for a sign, this is it. Go fix an old friendship that meant a lot to you and tell your friends that you appreciate them. As always, I love you guys very much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.